Welcome back. Today, let's talk about Kyle Kashev's rejection from Harvard. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can always be informed and always get my sources down below. All right, so let's do this. So let's start talking about who Kyle is. Now, Kyle is one of the students who was present at the Parkland shooting back in 2017 at Majory Stoneman Douglas High School. Now, when you think of students from Parkland after this point, you generally think of people like David Hogg who have become gun control activists. Kyle, on the other hand, went, I guess you could say, in the opposite direction. He is a pro-gun activist, so much so that he's worked with Turning Point USA as well as gone to uh, the NRA and you know talked to them and given speeches. So he is certainly a right-wing activist. Now, he, um, applied to several colleges, obviously, and he ended up getting into Harvard, which is impressive because, I mean, Harvard is quite prestigious. That being said, it wasn't very surprising because he had a 1550 SAT and a 3.9 GPA, so he was certainly qualified to get into Harvard, and so he was accepted. After he was accepted, however, there were several text messages and Google Docs that started to begin resurfacing that he had been a part of several years ago back before the shooting where he and some of his friends would use racial slurs and just words that you really shouldn't be using and they would do that like i said in text and google docs and they did that basically to try and you know just be extreme and be stupid kids i don't approve of that and i don't think for example they were using like the n word and things of that nature i don't think you should do that but i don't think it necessarily warrants what happened next so because of this and because of all the pushback Harvard was getting and a bunch of activists were letting Harvard know about this, that they should not accept him, what they did is they rescinded his application. So he had been accepted to Harvard. He had denied or chosen to go to Harvard. So he told other universities he wouldn't go there because he was going to Harvard. And yet because of this, Harvard decided to say he is no longer allowed. So essentially they rejected him from coming to Harvard. Now, even though Harvard has the right to do what they did, they can accept and reject whomever they want, I don't think it's a very good move, and I actually think it's a, it's a pretty bad decision. So let me explain why I think that is. First, take into account the fact that Kyle, when he did this, he was 16 years old, so it was, it was several years ago, and 16-year-olds are not the smartest. Just take the Tide Pod challenge as an example. Right, so 16 year olds, they make mistakes, they, they do things that are stupid. And yeah, he said things that were really messed up. He used racial slurs and things that he should not have done. He apologized for it before Harvard decided to kick him out. So Harvard is essentially saying, we do not accept your apology. Now, the problem that I see, one of the problems I see with this is Harvard is essentially saying that we don't believe you've changed in this time period, right? So because you said some bad things when you were 16, we are not going to allow you now, almost two years later, to come into our school because of those things. I don't think you can make the argument that Kyle has not changed in that time period. So much has happened since then. First and foremost, the Parkland shooting. I don't see how you can go through something like that and remain the same person you were before. Before that, he may have just been an idiot kid using you know, racial slurs and just trying to get reactions out of people. But now it doesn't really seem like he's that kid anymore. I haven't seen any evidence at least to support that he still does things like that. And yet Harvard is saying, we're not looking at who you are now, we're looking at who you were back then. And there are those who argue that this is acceptable because it is not a right. He doesn't have a right to go to Harvard. It's a privilege to be able to go. And that is certainly true. I'm not saying that Harvard needs to accept just about everybody because that's not true. But by that same logic, you could say that he doesn't have a right to go to any other university because he doesn't. The university gets to decide who goes and who doesn't. Going to any university is a privilege. And so we could use that same logic and say, if it's a privilege to go to any other university, they could use the same criteria and say, because of what he did two years ago, he is not accepted. So you could take that argument and apply it to every university and say he doesn't deserve higher education because he said stupid stuff at 16. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen because he is a good student. He has fantastic grades and SAT scores and everything. But you could apply that same logic, and that would be the outcome. And that's my main problem I see here. So that's all that I had for you today. Sorry if it was a little bit rantier than normal. This is just something that I felt fairly strongly about, and I just I didn't like it. So I want to hear feedback from you. Do you think that Harvard made the right move? 
in rescinding his application, or do you think it was a mistake? Who do you side with? Do you side with Harvard, or do you side with Kyle on this? Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and like I said, make sure that you subscribe so you can stay informed. Hit a like to show that YouTube that you appreciated this and help to just move this forward. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.